What's going on guys, it's Shay here. So after weeks of not making a prop, today I have for you guys finally a prop I've been anticipating to make for a while. <laughs> I don't know why I'm so excited for this, but today guys, I'm gonna be showing you guys the SP Shooter from Tokyo Sentai Decker Ranger, which is currently a Sentai season I'm actually watching right now. And when I saw, when I saw it in action, I'm like, I have to make this like i thought it was a tiny pistol. i mean they're technically tiny pistols which is exactly what this thing is it's just that i had to make it like it just it, the design is it's more practical for like a sidearm when you're not transformed unlike a specific weapon out there but anyways there's not going to be that many things to talk about this thing since there's not like doesn't really have that much of a backstory except that not only a few of the decker rangers use them so with that being said let's begin so basically the SP shooter are the Decker Rangers sidearms when they're not transformed. Like when they're not in a suit, when they're not in a Decker suit or anything, they uh they use these to blast people, what well, people, but blast enemies when they aren't transformed and they use their fists as well. So the SP shooter is a tiny pistol, it's a little small compact pistol, and it is as I said, it's only used for when they're not transformed. Now there's only six of the Decker Rangers who use these. Apparently, Doggy Kruger also has one. I'm assuming he owns one, but he doesn't really use it. I, I, he's, he's seen using it in, what, episode 7, I think? Because I'm in episode 10 right now. I've been, I, I've actually been watching the show. Um, and I'm pretty sure I've probably been on, like, episode 20 by now if I would have watched it when I was at school or something. But, I mean, we don't have school the rest of this week because of Thanksgiving. Because Thanksgiving is tomorrow. Also, happy early Thanksgiving to everybody. Hope you guys have a good time tomorrow. So, what do you think about it? This is kind of like a Thanksgiving special. A uh, prop review special one away for Thanksgiving, even though it's not relating to anything dealing with Thanksgiving. But, anyways, with that, without that, <laughs> so um, the decorators she uses are red, blue, green, yellow, pink, and white or break. Because Decker Break is the sixth ranger of the Decker Rangers. Now, in SPD and Power Rangers SPD, they actually do have weapons similar to the SP Shooter when they aren't transformed, but they're what? They're not called Delta Max Blasters. Uh, I forgot. I don't even know if they have a name. They're just like weapons that they have on them, and they're laser laser guns, not like not like pistols. Because in Decker Ranger, these actually fire bullets. Well, actually, I think these fire lasers, but they're considered a pistol. Like they're considered a gun. So yeah, it is much more, and it makes more sense with the theme because it fits the theme of Decker Ranger a little more, which is detective police work. You know what I'm saying? Hearing things, and those things are not lovely. This. And the Gal Revolver are probably by far my favorite weapons that you can have on your person. But in terms of practicality, this is better reserved. You wouldn't want to have a big dinosaur gun on your hip. You would rather probably have this thing because it's more concealable. Because it is a compact tiny pistol. Or same thing. But I mean, this is just like cool. Now, I didn't even think that I would ever make something like this because of how tiny it is. And... I only have the little tiny glue stick, like the little short, short glue sticks, and those are only enough to make one of these. I have 50 of them, but the amount I had to go through last night to get this. Now, in terms of the prop itself, it took me about a whole night to make, but get it finished painting up. I had to finish up this morning because I fell asleep last night because I was really tired after making this thing, so yeah now i don't know how well the shooting test of this will go because i can't find an actual shooting list that might be cut off a little so sorry about that but yeah so in terms of like the way it's held in my hand here's what it looks like in my right hand with the finger through the trigger guard like i'm about to fire and it's an okay size and since in the picture in the picture the sp shooter looks actually really tiny like the barrel is shorter this kind of reminds me of the kappa of the kiapa rhino revolver which is a gun in real life it's a what 357 magnum revolver and it's around the same size as this probably slightly bigger and obviously a more knockdown power because it's 357 magnum it's a revolver <laughs> but um other than that this is cool this is what it looks like in my left hand with a finger out of like my finger off the trigger that's what it looks like those who can't really see my hand but let's take a look at these details now so the details on an sp shooter is it's all white but it has a few details now i didn't want to be redundant or like repetitive with my detail design because right here this is actually supposed also this is actually mirrored it's supposed to be on this side on this side as well but i looked inside blank and no wheel um i don't know what this is supposed to represent it's supposed to represent um uh red rangers mecha i don't really know i forgot what it's called already even though i just watched the episode like a few months ago but i don't know what it's supposed to resemble but i mean 
you have it's all white you have a few nice designs i actually didn't include a barrel up here this time <clears throat> because i actually forgot that detail i mean if i would have realized i forgot the barrel then i would probably would have remade it but i was already way too far out with that so you have the wheel here which i don't know what this is supposed to represent i mean maybe it's just dealing with the car maybe it's probably dealing with the cars of the um like the deck machine not deck machines the uh Delta vehicles? I don't know. The deck of vehicles? I don't freaking know what their names are, but um, you have these gray pieces. Now, this is actually gray, now, but it's in a black-ish type of color. Now, the reason why I uh, put it that way because I don't have any gray paint. I don't have any gray acrylic paint, and the pavement color is the closest I have to gray. It's like a really dark, really, really dark gray, I should say. Now, on the prop, there's actually, um, it's actually some writing here, and it's supposed to say SP Arm or SPD arms something e something i think it's e60 i don't freaking know but it also says that on red rangers is uh d magnums um it also says it up there too um or i think it says it on every weapon that the deck ranger have but yeah these things are used quite prominently in the show as far as i know because they're used as a self-defense weapon and also sometimes an, an offense like a weapon for the offensive or the offensive side of the deck ranger now as i don't know who it's mainly used by but i think it is mainly used by Hoji, the blue Decker Ranger. Um, I don't know why, because in the first episode, he was the first one. Or in, the, in the first episode, he was the first one to pull the weapon and actually use it like a, a weapon should be. And I don't know how they hold it. I don't know if they hold it like this, like this, or hold it like that, or maybe even hold it like this, like with my what the was that? <laughs> with my thumb right here on my on my hand. I don't know if that's how they use it. I don't freaking know, but yeah um now if you guys are wondering how the how like it's kind of stored it's stored on the hip obviously so it's stored either here but if you want if you're left-handed you want it on this side so that way you can pull it and boom so um for a pretty cool small prop that only took me about a night only about a night to make i like this okay now if i wanted to i could go back and uh take all these excess cardboard pieces off like peel this off here and paint that so that way it could be a better comfortable feel so that way i don't have to worry about any peeling cardboard i could even go back and peel this off and then paint this over again and add the little black piece that's here and also maybe even a barrel that's supposed to be there but it's not so yeah the sp shooter now i don't know if they actually would have kept this as a weapon in spd and power rangers spd i want to know if they if they would have kept this as their as the rangers weapons when they're not transformed or when they're not morphed in Power Rangers. But I wanna know what they, what they call this, um, what they call this, the patrol, the patrol blaster, I don't know. Maybe that would've been, probably would've been called if they actually did keep this as their Ranger sidearms because this would've been cool if they did keep it because I would've maybe like, I'd like SPD, but I would've liked it a little more if they kept this now that I think about that. So yeah, the SP shooter, which I think stands for pe special police shooter. Because SPD spans, spans, can I speak today? SPD stands for, in Decker Ranger, SPD stands for Special Police Decker Ranger. But in Power Rangers SPD, it stands for Space Patrol Delta. But I have a feeling that Special Patrol Delta is a cooler name, in my opinion. So, yeah, that's it. That's it for it. So, um, it's not, it's like minimal detail up here. But, I mean, oh, well, I tried my best, you know. And that's what it looks like, me aiming at the camera. Fingers out the trigger, you know. That's what it looks like aiming at the camera. Now what's bugging me is that when I aim it like, when I put it like this inside the holster, it looks like the grip is facing this way. And that really freaking takes me off sometimes. Let me see them again. Like if I close one eye and I look at it like this, it just looks like the grip is facing the entire way. But if that's the, but if that was the case, that means that the whole, when I aim it at someone or aiming at a camera or something, then that means the grip would be like this way or like lopsided, which really pisses me off sometimes when I make a prop and it makes me want to remake it. But just to make one of these, it's just really freaking annoying. And then just like usual, it's my usual six layer method where I take six layers of cardboard, hot glue them together, then add a few pieces up there. Boom. I got a freaking prop. So this is, it's going to be a small shooting test, but other than that, if there's any functionality, obviously not. There's no functionality on any of my props because I would have to probably, I would have to be really skilled to make a functional cardboard prop. So yeah, about that uh, shooting test. So it's actually currently about 1132 at night and I already know that this video won't be uploaded until the next day. So 
since that this is getting uploaded the next day, happy Thanksgiving to everyone. I hope you guys have a really fun time with your family and whatnot. And I really hope you guys have some good food and some of the good old like turkey or ham. I personally, me personally, I'm, I'm like ham a little more than turkey, but that's not the point of this. But so dealing with the shooting test is that um, since I forgot that iPhone, uh, iPhone videos, when you record them, it actually is an MOV instead of MP3, which is which is obviously like what Android phones, like what type of video or MP4. It wasn't what it is. That's a video. It's like that's what I not iPhones, but that's what Android devices support in terms of a video uh, thing. And if you download an MOV, it just it just won't take it in PowerDirector. So sadly, the shooting test. I even had a cool intro for you guys, or I would even I wouldn't even consider it cool, but. Um, it was like, I was mad when I found out I could not freaking do it. I was so freaking mad, dude. I really wanted to do that intro to see how well it did and whatnot. And I couldn't even freaking see it. Barely. I only seen the few, like, things that I did. Like, the actual raw clips of me doing that stuff. Pause on that. But, I mean... Like, man. And then I did the shooting test all on my iPhone. And now you guys can't really, really see... How the like the way I, I'm actually trying to get a, a shooting noise of it combined together from like a few different noises from the show, but until I do, I might include it in a skit. That's if I even start doing. That's even if I do those again, because seems like they're not exist on my channel right now. But yeah, really sorry about that. About not having a shooting test. Um, please forgive me on that one. And yeah, happy Thanksgiving, guys. Um, I wouldn't call this a Thanksgiving special because it has nothing to do with Thanksgiving. But, I mean, I guess I'm going to consider that. So, I'm kind of freaking tired now. And with that being said, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to comment, like, and or subscribe. And with that being said, I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys.